During 1947 to 1955, a few key players were joining the MLB and breaking the color line. They were Jackie Robinson, Satchel Paige, and Roberto Clemente. There was a virtual agreement between all the Major League Ball Club owners that they would not sign a black player to, an, to the MLB. This was an unwritten rule, and some people wanted to change that. They felt that black players should be able to play pro baseball if they want to and were good enough. There were tons of good black players that were good enough to be in the MLB, but they couldn't because of the agreement. There were three players that were able to make it into the MLB because they were exceptionally gifted. Jackie Robinson was a great player in person, on and off the field. When he would play, he was discriminated against by the other team, and even his own teammates. Satchel Page was a great pitcher, but spent his prime and much more in the Negro Leagues. He finally got to be a pitcher in the majors, but his fastball wasn't hit the 107 miles per hour it used to be. He still got lots of batters out, and he was one of MLB's greatest pitchers ever. But there will be the everlasting question, what if he was in the major during his prime? Roberto Clemente was a great player of baseball. When a player on his team got a racial slur, he protested. He was a strong believer in his right and the right of others. He was just learning English and reporters were trying to make fun of him for his heavy Latin American accent and lack of English. October 17, 1971, the underdog Pittsburgh Pirates defeated the Baltimore Orioles in Game 7 to win the World Series. Many players had contributed to the victory, but everyone agreed who was most responsible. Their veteran right fielder from Puerto Rico, number 21, Roberto Clemente. And here with me right now, the greatest right fielder in the game. But it wasn't just his play on the field that day that his admirers would remember. It was what he did afterwards. And before I, uh, I say anything English, I would, I would like to say something for my mother and father in Spanish. El día más grande de mi vida para los negros la bendición mía y que mi padre me que mi bendición en Puerto Rico. The Latinos who were listening to that were watching the English language TV. To have someone suddenly speak to you in Spanish reinforced a pride in your own language and culture and in who Roberto was. I cried when he did this because this was him. He loved his family, he loved his country, he loved the United States, but his love was for Puerto Rico. He was baseball's first Latino superstar before America's pastime became truly international. Clemente is the first athlete to transcend both race and nation and culture. He's also not defined by commercialism. It's about pride. It's about doing what he believes is right. It's about loyalty. He played with unparalleled grace during turbulent times. With passion and pride, that were often misunderstood. He was a puzzle, I'm sure, to a lot of the sporting press. And they were mysterious and somewhat adversarial in his view. Clemente was a complicated individual because he stepped into some very complicated times. He was larger than the game he loved until his sudden tragic death made him larger still. 